Barnabies, how are you today? Today we are going to make the woodland beanie. Okay, um, you can use any yarn you want. You can use a four weight, five weight, three weight. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. It's your hook size that matters. Um, so today I am going to be using Premier Color Fusion Chunky. It's 100% acrylic. And this is, oh, <laughs> this is the color woodland. <laughs> wow, I couldn't have picked that any better. <laughs> well, that's funny. Okay, then. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> so we're going to be using this. It's a bulky five. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to use Premier Basic. This is a medium four. It's 100% acrylic. And this is the color Juniper. Okay, so the base of the hat is going to be this. And then the um, texture part of the hat is going to be this. Okay, so let's... Oh, and I'm also going to be using a uh, 6.5 millimeter hook. Okay, so let's get started. All right, we're gonna start. I'm gonna bring you in a little bit. We're gonna start with a magic circle. Wrap it around your finger twice. Put your hook underneath the first loop. Grab your second loop, pull it through. Grab your working yarn and pull it through. Okay, now we're going to chain up one and we're going to do nine more double crochets in that circle. So one, two, three, oops, come on. Let's try that again. I'm going to pull some more yarn here. <coughs> Three, four. Might help if I put my glasses on. <laughs> five. They're just sitting on my head going, Are you going to use us or what? Six. So now all together you should have 10 double crochet because this first one will count. Okay, make sure I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, okay. And we're going to slip stitch into the first chain. Now I'm going to put my glasses on. <laughs> oh, that's so much better. Okay, I'll tighten up the circle. Okay, we're going to chain two. Then we're going to go right back in to that space with this chain. I'm going to do a double crochet. Okay, I'm going to go into each stitch after this and do two double crochets each. So one, go right back in, and two. Next one, go one, go right back in, and two. And you're going to do this all the way around. And you should have 20 double crochet. Okay, I'll meet you at the other side. 
Okay, I'm at the other side and I have two double crochet left to do. You're going to go right into this false stitch. Okay, finish your two double crochet. Okay, go back and count. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Okay, now you're going to slip stitch into the first chain and chain two. Okay, now you're going to go right back into that same stitch that the chain is in, and you're going to do a double crochet. Now you're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch, two double crochet in the next stitch. Oops. One double crochet in the next stitch, and two double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to do this all the way around. Just do one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. And I will meet you when you get around to the other side. Ah, if I can get my hook out. <laughs> Good lord. Okay. Alright, not me at the other side. Okay, I'm at the other side. You should be ending on a single crochet, or a uh, single crochet, one double crochet. Okay, so there's my two double crochet. Go into the false stitch and do one more double crochet. All together you should have uh, 10, 20, 30. <coughs> I guess I should count them. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. Yay, I did it right. <laughs> it's always good to count after each row because you never know if you've done too many of one stitch or not enough of another stitch. So, because it's pretty easy to mess that up. Oh, a slip stitch into that first chain and chain two. Go back into that stitch, that chain, and do a double crochet. Now we're going to do one double crochet into one stitch. Go into the next stitch, do one double crochet. Go into the next stitch, do two double crochet. Oh, whoops. My Winder here is all messed up. Come on. There we go. Okay. Go on the next stitch, do one double crochet. Go on the next stitch, do one double crochet. Go on the next stitch, do two double crochet. stitch do one double crochet. Next stitch do one double crochet. Next stitch do two double crochet. And that's going to be the pattern for this row. Okay, so it's going to be two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, all the way around. So one, one, Two. 
Okay. I'll meet you at the other side. Okay, so I'm at the end and I should have two spaces left. You're going to end on the two double crochet, or the two single double crochets. So one, go into the next one, that faux stitch, and do two. And you should have 40 at the end. Okay, now you're going to slip, slip stitch into that first chain and chain two. Okay, now I'm going to put a graph or a, um, a photo in here to show you what your circumference should be for each size. Because I'm using a thicker yarn, I'm going to be doing less rounds to get an adult hat. If you're using thinner yarn, like a three weight or a four weight, you're probably going to have to do more rounds, okay, of uh, of increases. Okay, um, I'll also put in a chart of the increase um, rows, but you're going to want for an adult hat anywhere between a five and a six um, inch circumference. Okay, if you've got a smaller head as an adult, five inches might be okay, but we're going to go to six inches. Okay, so the next round, you're going to go into that same space and you're going to do a double crochet. Okay, the next one, the next um, space you're going to do a double crochet, next stitch double crochet, next stitch double crochet, next stitch two double crochet. Next stitch one double crochet, Next stitch, one double crochet. Next stitch, one double crochet. And I have a knot. <laughs> Next stitch, two double crochet. Okay. Oh, sorry, the mailman. Okay. So, yeah, so it's going to be one, 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 two, one, 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 two, all the way around. So you're going to have three double crochets and then two double crochets in the same space. And you're going to do that all the way around. And I'll meet you at the other side. Okay, so we're at the end and I have the three double crochets left to do. So there's one, two, three. So if you're not ending on the, the double crochet, three double crochets, you know something's wrong and you need to go back and you need to check. And count your two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, all the way around. And you should have 50 stitches at the end. Okay, now we should have our right amount, and we do. Okay, so now we can start doing the rest of the hat. So now what we're going to do is do a slip stitch to join, chain two, and all we're going to do is we're not going to go in here anymore, okay? We're going to go into the next one, and we're going to do one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Oops, I need more yarn. Yeah, 
each each stitch gets one double crochet. No more increases. Okay. So that's easy enough. Okay. And so I will meet you at the other side and then we are going to start with our next color. Okay, so we're at the end of that row. Now we're going to go into that false stitch to do our last stitch. And you should have 50 stitches all together. Okay, now you're going to snip your um, yarn and you're going to attach your new yarn. Okay, so you attach however you attach your yarn. Okay. All right. I like to knot my two yarns together so that it doesn't come undone. But you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay. Now you're going to chain up two. Okay. I'm just going to weave in my ends as I go. So you're going to skip this one, you're going to go into the next one, and you're going to do the start of a double crochet. So you're going to go in, pull up your yarn, go through two, and stop. Okay, Yarn over, go back in that same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two. Now you should have three loops on your hook, yarn over, go back in that, that same loop or same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two. Now you're going to have four stitches or four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and go through all four. Okay. You're going to chain one to lock it in. Okay. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip the next stitch, go into the next stitch. Okay. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Don't do these tight, okay, because otherwise you're going to have a really hard time trying to get it through all the loops. Okay. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go in that same stitch, pull up a loop, go through two, yarn over, go through the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two. You've got four stitches or four loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through all four stitches and do a um, slip stitch to, <laughs> to lock it in. Okay, do that again. Skip one stitch, go into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two. You have four on your hook, yarn over, go through all four. Slip stitch to lock it in. Okay, and you can do this all the way around. Skip one, go into the next, skip one, go into the next. You're just going to keep doing that until the end. And I'll meet you when you get over here. Okay, so I'm at the end. Okay, uh, you should have approximately 24 <coughs> of these stitches. Uh, if you're doing with smaller yarn and doing more rounds, that is going to change. So, okay, now you're just going to go into the 
top of that chain right in there you're going to slip stitch okay okay and that's how it's looking so far now we're going to change back to our original color Chain up two. Get all this yarn out of my way. Okay, this might be a little difficult to see because of the color of the yarn. But uh, what we're going to do, oops, maybe I'll bring in just a little bit more. Whoops, wrong way. Okay. You're gonna see right in here. We're gonna do one double crochet. So I'm gonna weave in my ends as I go. Okay. And you're gonna go in this space here. Double crochet. You're going to go in this space that's right here, it's the stitch. Okay. Going to go in there, do a double crochet. Okay. Go in this big space right here and do a double crochet. And then go, whoops, go into this space here. Double crochet. <clears throat> so you're basically just going in this big space and in this space beside it. Okay, this big space, this space beside it. Okay. Big space going in the space beside it. Okay, skipping over, going into this big space. And this space beside it. That's all you're doing all the way around. Big space, space beside it. Big space, space beside it. You're going to do that all the way around. Now we'll see you when you get to the other side. Okay, so I'm at the end of the round and you're just going to do one double crochet in that space, that last space, and then you're going to slip stitch at the top of that chain and then you're going to chain two. Okay. okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go in the back loop. Okay. So, you're going to go skip this stitch. You're going to go into the next stitch and you're going to, right in that V, if you flip your yarn up, you're going to see the V. You're going to put your hook down into there. Flip it back and then do a double crochet. Okay, go into the next stitch. Okay, 
Okay, oops, <laughs> caught up. Go into the next stitch, put this stitch, the back, this is, this is the front loop, this is the back loop. Okay, so you're going to go in between that V and go in behind that stitch. Okay, and pull up your yarn and double crochet. Okay, go in that V, go in the stitch, pull up your yarn and double crochet. Go in that V, go under that stitch, and pull up. That's going to give you a nice little ridge. Okay, go in that V, pull your yarn up, and do your double crochet. Okay, and you're going to do this all the way to the other side. Okay, and I'll meet you when you get back over here. I'm going to show you a little tip that I do. Okay, um, you can do this if you want to. You don't have to. Take it or leave it. Okay, so I was saying go into this back loop and pull up your yarn. Okay. See how wobb wobbly that um, stitch is? I like to, my hats to be really sturdy. So this is what I do. <clears throat> okay. I go, see is that V? You still go in there. Except you put your hook to the front and then you put it to the back. And what that does is it picks up the third loop as well. Okay. So you just put it in and flip it to the back and it picks up both loops and it makes it a bit sturdier. Okay, I'll show you. Okay, so you put your hook in here, put it down, flip it to the back, okay, and then you get both of those loops. Because if you look, you've got your V, okay, if you look at the back, you have these two loops. Alright, this is called your third loop, right here. All right, so I like to pick up that third loop because then it doesn't, it's, see if you go into the, into the back loop, see how wobbly that is? And all you're doing is you're not picking up that third loop right there. You're just picking up one, but by putting your hook down and all the way to the back, you're picking up both loops. See how much more sturdy that is? So that's what I do. You don't have to if you don't want to, if that confuses you. Okay, see, look at that. So much sturdier than doing this. Okay. Now you don't have to do it if you don't want to, but you just put your hook, oops, put your hook down in between, flip it to the back. So you've got both of those loops. Pull your yarn up and finish your double crochet. Okay, look at how much sturdier that is, opposed to. See the difference? Just a little tidbit. 
The only reason why I showed you how to do the back loop like that was because it's easier for some people to understand. Okay, but it's not the stitch that I usually do. Because I like that being sturdy. Okay. Okay. Just wanted to show that to you. Okay. So we're at the end. I just have one more to do. Okay. Now we're going to go to the top of that st first stitch right here. And we're going to slip stitch. Okay. Alright, now we're going to go back to our other yarn. We're going to attach that. Okay. We're going to cut our working yarn that we were using. Okay. Knotting mine together. Okay. Now from this point on, that three sets of rows that we did is the three row repeat. Okay. So now we're going to go back to doing this row. Okay. And uh, that's going to be the, these three rows are going to be the rows throughout the rest of the hat. So we're going to chain two. Okay. We're going to go into, skip this one, go into this one. Oops. Grab your yarn, pull up, yarn over, go through two. Go through two. Go through two. You've got four on your hook. Pull through. Yarn over or um, slip stitch to join. Okay. We're doing exactly the same as the other as the other row that we did. Skip one. Go in. Yarn over. Pull up. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over. Go through the same stitch, pull up, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through the stitch, yarn up, or pull up, yarn over, go through all four, and then slip stitch to join. Okay, exact same as we did before. All right, skip one, go in. Okay, we're going to do this throughout the rest of the row. And I will see you at the end. So I'm finished this round. Now I'm going to go into that first chain, go up to the top, and slip stitch. Okay, now we're going to change our yarn again. Oh, where's my yarn? Okay, we're going to cut the yarn that we were just working with. And not to join. Okay. Chain two. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, now we're going to start this row. Okay. Okay. You go in the big, big stitch, or big space, I should say. Do your double crochet. Then 
you go in the space beside it. Do a double crochet. Okay, go in the big space. Do a double crochet. Go in the space beside it. Okay, go in the big space. And the space beside it. Okay, continue that all the way around. Okay, I'm at the end. We've gone in this space. Now we're going to go to the top of the chain, slip stitch to join. Chain two. Now we're going to be starting this row with the back um, back a back stitch. Okay? I'm going to go in the back loop. Put your hook down in between. Grab the back loop. Hook up um, bring up your loop and do your double crochet. Okay? in the back loop. Pull up, do your double crochet. Go in the back loop. Pull up, do your double crochet. Okay, you're going to do that all the way around to get that ridge. And I'll meet you at the other side. Okay, so I'm finished that row. Now at this point, you're going to start trying your hat on. Okay? So if you want this to be a slouchy hat, just keep doing those three rows over and over and over again. Okay? Until you get it to the, the amount of slouch that you want. If you want it as a beanie, just keep trying it on until you find that the bottom of the hat goes to the top of your ear. Okay, um, and then when when we're when it's the right fit, then you're going to start doing your brim. Okay, or if you don't want a brim, you can keep it like this. I always like to put a brim on my hat. Okay. All right. So now. What we're going to do is you can choose if you want your brim to be in your original color or this color. Okay, I'm going to do it in this color. So I'm going to change yarns. Oops. Switch over my yarn. going to do, bring in just a little bit, let's chain up two, okay, then we're going to go and do front posts and back posts, okay, so you're going to start with a front post, oh, I didn't bring in enough, okay, you're going to take your hook, you're going to go in that first stitch, you're going to bring it up behind that stitch. You're going to yarn over, pull your yarn through that hook, uh, through that stitch, and pull it up. Okay, then you're going to finish your double crochet. Okay, now you're going to do a back post. 
Okay, so you're going to go in behind. I'm just trying to get these tails out of the way so that you can see. You're going to go in that next stitch. You're going to go in, yarn over. You're going to go in behind, put your hook up over top of that stitch, yarn over, and pull your yarn through and up. Come on, whoops. I'm not used to doing this in slow motion. <laughs> yarn over, go up, over, pull your yarn through, Pull it up and finish your double crochet. Okay. Now you're going to do a front post. Go in behind that stitch so it's on top of your hook. Yarn over, pull your yarn up, and finish your double crochet. Yarn over, go in behind. Go up through, over top of that, that stitch, yarn over, pull your yarn through, and finish your double crochet. Okay, so you can have one front, one back, one front, one back. Okay, do your front post. And your back post. Hmm. Front post. And your back post. Okay, you're going to do that all the way around. I'll meet you when you get to this side. Okay, I'm at the end. And if all the stars align, you should have your last, the, the first stitch that you started will end up being a back post, but you won't work in it. Okay. Now you see I've got a front post and a back post. This doesn't match. Okay, you can't have two back posts. Okay, so I messed that up. <laughs> I should have counted and I didn't. All right, so um, what you have to do is you have to go back and you have to add another stitch in that faux stitch. Okay. So, take all this out. <clears throat> Usually I count and I didn't. Frogging, frogging, frogging we will go. Okay. So we're at the beginning again. So what you're going to want to do is go into that faux stitch and do another double crochet. Okay, and then join. Okay, usually what I do when I come to the brim part is I will count my stitches. <clears throat> okay, and I should have showed you this, I'm sorry. Okay, so this stitch that you're, you're joining stitch, that will count as a back post. Okay, so then you go and count front post, back post, front post, back post, front post, back post. And you do that all the way around until you get to this end. If you end on a front post, that's good. If you end on a back post, you're going to want to put in an extra stitch. 
okay? You always want to end on a front post. And, you know, you don't have to count this first stitch because that will always be your back post. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this again and see if it works. Okay, so we're at the end. Here's that stitch, that extra stitch that we put in. So you're going to do front post. Okay, and then this first chain stitch will automatically sink backwards and become a back post. So you don't have to work that stitch. Okay, so you're going to go to the top and you're going to slip stitch. Okay. Alright, and then you're going to chain two. Okay, and you're going to do that over again. Front post goes in a front post. Back post goes in a back post. You can tell they're raised up and they're sunken back. Okay. And you're going to do this for as many rows as you want your brim to be. I do like two or three rows depending on the hat. Okay. And there's the back post. It's a front post. And a back post. Okay. See that? There you go. Okay. So do as many rows as you want. Keep trying it on and seeing where it sits and uh, I will meet you back when you're finished your brim. Okay. Okay, my hat is done. I got my tag on it. I put a pom-pom on it. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of a disarrayed pom-pom, but it's on. <laughs> and so there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And check out my playlist for all my other videos. And uh, maybe check out my Etsy page, which is linked down below, for any patterns that I have on there. Okay, so thanks for joining me. I would love to see your Woodlands hat and uh, any it, you can do it in any color you want and I would love to see pictures so go to my Facebook page and post your pictures and I can't wait to see them. Okay, so I will talk to you guys later and I will see you in my next video. Bye!